Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Edmonds. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. That way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons, and you are listening to The Morning Show. I can honestly say I have never been quite so excited to talk to anybody in my life as I am today. It's Featured Artist Friday, and we've got them right here, our Featured Artist of the Week, the Crab family. We've got Adam and Jason Crab here with us. Guys, you there? We are here. We are here. Well, I have to admit right off the bat, I'm a little starstruck this morning. So, hey, I may stutter a little bit, but it's a big deal. It's the crabs. Oh, you're very sweet. Thank you so much for having us on. We really appreciate what you're doing. Well, we've been excited about this all week. We've been playing. The show's only two hours a day. Uh, It plays twice a day, but the show is just two hours. And we've been playing you guys three hours every day in that show so that's a lot in a two-hour period to get to play the crabs three times and i hate to see it in because now i won't have an excuse to play the crabs three times every show so anyway it's been a lot maybe maybe we should go ahead and put this off then if you're going to keep playing us like that you know (laughs) we play the crabs a lot anyway but we've had a we've had a blast playing you so much we love the crabs on the morning show Well, let's talk about the Crab family. Uh, You all are legendary on your own. Each of you can just stand on your own and have done great things. But when you stand together, when you guys stand together, you're not a river, a stream, or a brook. You guys are the ocean. And later on down the road in years to come, when someone writes a summary of the last hundred years of Southern gospel music and they just hit the highlights, well, you're going to read about some of the greats, some of the ones that made a big difference, changed things up, and Well, they were usually a little ahead of their time. Groups like the Happy Goodman family, the Hensons, the Gaither Vocal Band. And in that list, in that short list, you're going to find the Crab family. Because the Crab family has been a game changer. And you've made us better. And for that, we take the time this morning to say thank you and to honor the Crabs on the morning show. Thank you so very much. What What a blessing it is to get to do this and to be a part of such wonderful music. Um. I, I really don't even know how to describe it except, you know, we're just thankful to the good Lord that he would love us like that and allow us to get to do what we love to do, you know, and and to be on with you this morning. We we just love it. We really do. We love doing his work and, and we are so grateful. Well, you guys have been faithful for a long time and God has truly blessed that faithfulness and we've enjoyed watching it from a distance. We sure have. You guys have been out there on the road a lot lately and you get to see things that the rest of us don't really get to see. There's a song on that latest album of yours that I love and I just wonder if it's any indication of what you're seeing out there at your concerts, when you meet people, when you minister. And that song is called I See Revival. Are you getting a glimpse of that out there? What does it look like out there from from your view? We, we, We love that song. We Actually, that is the song we start with every night. Uh, We start with that song and you can see expectation um, on the people's faces. And and Lord, one thing we definitely need in today's uh, time is revival. We need God to, to shake us, to move us. And, uh, and, and and we can see that happening. Every concert has been different, but uh, unique in its, in its own way. And uh, we've seen great moves of the spirit and, uh, I think the world is craving a revival right now. <laughs> uh, we're, 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 we're definitely seeing that, the expe- ex- expectation of people and the hunger uh, for God's outpouring of the Spirit. You know, well, Adam said something I think that's really key is expectation. You know, that is a, that is a great word, and probably we could just highlight this whole interview on that word because if you don't expect it, how are you going to receive it especially a lot of people in today's time is if if you don't if you don't go after what you or or you don't believe you're not going to receive it you probably won't and you're probably not going to get in and go after it 
but I think expectation is the word. And I think that the body of Christ, believers, need to be expecting a great move of God. We need it for our children. We need it for our, you know, people's grandchildren. We need it for this country. We need a, uh, an awakening of God's presence. But for God's presence to be there, anytime you read in God's word, when he showed up, it had to be somebody going to him and, and expecting God to hear, you know, their plea and their voice. And I think that that's where we are at in today. People just get ready, believe God, thank him for it in advance that this country, the greatest country I think on earth, us and Israel and and there's other fantastic countries out there, but we are a blessed people to be a free people to worship God in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. um, we're not, you know, we're not scared that somebody's going to come yank us out of our church buildings if we're worshiping and, and lifting up the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, what a blessing that is, but what a responsibility that is as well, that God has given us a freedom like that to do that. And so to much is given, much is required. So I think, uh, you know, through the day, we just have to be thankful, grateful, and expect. Yeah. Well, I know that God is the only one who can truly give revival, but, you know, there's nobody else I'd rather hear sing it in and usher it in than the Crab family. So <laughs> I hope I'm somewhere around when it happens. Here's that new song from that the latest album. I love it. It's called I See Revival. I see a town where nobody's forgotten Cause everybody cares I see churches so filled up on Sundays They're bringing in folding chairs I see a crowd by the river Every color, every age They're going down sinners And coming up saints I see the Bible
featured artist of the week, we have Jason and Adam Crabb with us here on the morning show. Guys, I came to a Crab Family concert about, I don't know, about three weeks ago at the Temple Theater in Meridian, Mississippi. It was packed out, by the way. There was a couple of things that really caught my eye that night, and I'd like to talk about that today. The first thing was energy. And I don't mean, I don't mean physical energy, although you did have physical energy. I mean a deeper energy than that, an energy in your singing. And, you know, so, there is a such thing as just passive singing, but the crabs don't know how to do that. Uh, you guys came out and, and you sang some of those songs that you've been singing a long time. I can't say how many years, but some of those songs, it's got to be getting close to 30 years. I, I don't know if it's, if it's really been 30, but it seems like it's been close to 30 years that you've been singing some of those songs. And even though I was all the way up uh, in the, the very top, even from up there, I could see the excitement on your faces and I could hear it in your voice, even when you went back and sang those same songs that you've been singing all those years. And it's super hard to do that. It's really hard to maintain that energy and that excitement when you've been singing something for so long and you came out there and sang it like it was brand new and you could not wait for us to hear it. I, I was so impressed by that. How do you keep up the energy for something that you've been doing for all this time? I think a good song, it just always feels right. And one thing that we've we've learned through the years is anytime you sing something you've been singing for a long time, you always kind of go back to, I want to sing this like it's the first time that I've ever sung this song. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's our mentality. When we yeah. sing, we always, we think of the lyric and what that lyric means. And, and in all of our lives, we, ex we have experienced a lot of what the song is saying. And so we have a, uh, I guess you could say a past that connects with the song, which makes it fresh uh, all the time. And so um, that's what makes it fresh to us is a lot of times, uh, you know, they say that songs are many testimonies. And a lot of times we're, we're singing our testimony. And so it resonates with our spirit. Yeah, I, I have to say Adam is, is so right on that. And another thing is as well, when you love what you're doing um, and you love the people, you look out there and you go, I, I just can't believe we're 29 years into ministry, being full-time out on the road. And we see a, 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 a building like the Temple Theater full we was in West Virginia, it was sold out. Um, and those people sitting out there and they're just waiting mm -hmm. to hear that message, to hear what's going to happen, to be a part. I think that's one of the things that we really cherish and try to accomplish in a concert is to let people know this is you, this is for you. This mm -hmm. is yours. This is your night. This is your moment that you took out of your day your schedule, your time, and time is very precious today, but yeah. we try to get out there and just, number one, give it all we've got for the people, number one, and because we know that that is a, a moment that God has set aside for each and every person out there, mm -hmm. and so that has to be a moment that they won't forget, that they feel important, they feel uplifted, they feel refreshed, and, and we draw from that as well. But also, we love this. <laughs> after it is over with. We can tell. The other, night, <laughs> the, the other night, after it was over with, I was putting my guitar up. And, and I was like, God, thank you for letting us do this. And I hope we get to do it for a long time. I, it was just, that was my conversation with the Lord. And it was just so personal just as if me and you or me and Adam are sitting here talking, you know, I was just like, God, thank you. This, this is so much fun. And I think that that's what, and, and we enjoy being together. My goodness. Mm -hmm. We enjoy as a family, this, I tell people all the time, they're my best friends. And that is, that is the truth hands down. And when you, when you get to stand on stage with such talent as, you know, Kelly and Tara and Aaron and Adam and, and the band that we have, and you get to sing these songs that really is uplifting. It's just a good time. Yeah. And we really, really enjoy it. And we don't take it lightly. We bring 
the town completely out. By the time the night is over with, we're done. We're tired. <laughs> Well, you give it all you got, and every time that we come to a concert, we see that. We appreciate the effort, the energy, the excitement, and the electricity that we feel every single time that we come to a Crab Family concert. It's awesome. Here's one of those songs that have been around a long time, and it never gets old. It's just as amazing today as it was a long, long time ago. Here's Mountaintop for me. The journey's been so long and weary. And Strain seems gone, but if the valley takes more travel, by grace I'm going on. For by faith there is a place that I can almost see. I know God has. I noticed the other night at the Crab Family concert was the incredible bond between all of you, the, the camaraderie on stage, the support that you show each other and that you offer each other. And I'll say this, we feed off of it in the audience. We see it, we feel it, we love it. And you know each other better than anyone. And you still seem to like one another. It seems like you're for one another. You're a team. And I just believe it. Am I wrong? You, you mentioned this a second ago, Jason, uh, but am I wrong? Do you guys really like each other? <laughs> no, that we, we are for each other. We applaud each other. It's so funny. I, I had four brand new songs that I just recorded. I've got a record that's coming out this year. I got a new single coming out as a solo artist and, I'm riding with Adam and Kelly. We went to the gym this morning and I'm riding with them. And, and I said, Hey guys, I want to play y'all, you know, the new singles and I, or the new songs. And I said, see which one you like as a single and that kind of stuff and played it for them. And man, honestly, it was the sweetest thing in the world. Their support, 
their love, you know, saying that this is you, this is the best that I've heard you do. And what did, you know, and so I said that to say this, we are on each other's team. We listen to our, each other's music. When Gaither puts something out, Adam sends it to us. We listen, we share it. We, I mean, Aaron's got a new building that he's getting ready to purchase uh, for their church. We've been doing a, we did a concert for him to support, try to raise the funds for that uh, down payment for that building. You know, we're, we're, we are for him. Tara's got a son that's getting ready to go play football at college. And my, my baby's off to college. Adam's baby's off to college. We're all for each other. You know, we're just loving each other and, and just supporting. Don't you feel that? I mean, I, I definitely, definitely. We, uh, we just, we, we love each other so much. And, and like Jason said, we are, uh, we're best friends. We, we truly are. And when we get together, it's just a special time and a special bond that we have. It's funny that you said that you said you can, you can see the support and the love. And, and honestly, that just becomes natural for us. Yeah. We don't even think about that. We, we just, That's we true. truly love each other. And, and it, every time Jason sings or, or anybody on stage, Aaron, uh, Tara and Kelly, we are so happy. And, and and our shows are full and, and we can see the growth that everybody has come into in the last few years. And, it, and and we're just excited about it, of what God's doing, not just through the group of the Craft family, but individually as everybody is doing their own ministries, we can see how much God has grown inside of each and every one of them. And somebody brought this up the other day and said, you know, it was hard when the family kind of went our separate ways, but I think in order to get to where we needed to be yeah. uh, personally and spiritually uh it was something that had to happen for growth to happen in our lives and when we get on stage now it, I, I can't tell you how much fun it is just because yeah. of the growth that we've seen and what god is doing in, in every one of our lives it's it's amazing and you appreciate and, uh, we, it. yeah we appreciate it and we're very uh thankful and blessed I, I remember when I was a kid, we used to get these things called black cats. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you mm -hmm. remember those or not. They were firecrackers. Yeah. And, you know, we'd put them off one at a time. <laughs> but then there'd be a time where you'd go, I wonder what it'd be like if you set the whole pack on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And see what that does. <laughs> and that's kind of the way it is on stage with the family. Yeah. It's like you, you appreciate the explosion that God has inside of you as individuals. Yeah. But man, when you put five people on stage with a band that is as fiery as, as anything something. else, it's like lighting the whole pack on fire. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. Now, sometimes it's a little much for some people to handle. You can see it in their faces. <laughs> sometimes they're like, you know, they're trying to get a drink out of the, the fire hydrant, but you know, um, it's okay. Uh, you just have to, buckle up and hang on for the ride because it's going to be warm for the night so. well look i truly walked away the other night after watching how you guys loved on one another on that stage and as i walked to my vehicle i was thinking to myself and this is my thought i need to love people better so you yeah. impact other people you're making a difference we see it in you and it makes us want to do better so anyway just wanted to tell you that here's another one off of that new album we're kind of focusing on that that latest album of, your, of yours here's the one i love it's called if god is for me here's the crabs i've seen some valleys i've walked through some darkness waded through rivers of grief oh the enemy told me that i was forsaken no one was fighting for me but i didn't make it this far on my own though often my strength is all gone the hands of the savior keep holding me up his promise of help is my song if god is 
featured artist of the week let's talk about that latest album 2020 i'm in love with this album and it's exactly what you would expect uh, out of the crab family it's just perfection doesn't get much better than this there's a particular song on here that we love on the morning show we play it almost every morning and it happens to be the latest song on the charts by the crab family it's called stones i love everything about the song i especially love the second verse that well it says it's okay for me to stop throwing stones at me because most of the time I'm throwing stones at myself instead of throwing stones at you. I've got a lot that I just throw consistently at myself. And the song says, I can let that go. I can drop them. I love the melody of the song. I love the harmony. And Adam, I just love the way that you say the words in this song. It's just amazing. My favorite line is, oh, we're all in you. such a hurry to be the judge and the jury. What a line. Tell me about this song, Stones. Well, I'll let Jason start this one off because okay. he, him and, uh, Jimmy Yeary actually wrote I this song. I thought they wrote that, yeah. And, and so, uh, what a beautiful, beautiful lyric. Uh, you know, and Jason's going to step out just for a second, Natalie. Okay. His, his, right his daughter's calling, but well, uh, you get I'll, I'll go ahead and share. Yeah. I'll share. Um, you know, when Jason, he gave me a couple of songs to, uh, to, to pick from. And this automatically was a go-to for me. And the story behind it for me is, you know, I have a past. I have things that, you know, regardless if they're forgiven or not, there's times in our life that, you know, it always seems to come back up. And I know that's just the enemy trying to 
uh, bring up our past inside of us. But I'm, I'm with you. You know, I'm the one that thinks on those things and, you know, throwing stones at myself. But I'm so thankful. Uh, there's another song that I sing every night. We sing them at the, at the Crab, uh, Crab Family concert is, is Chainbreaker. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm so thankful that those chains are not no longer holding me back that God has broke those chains off my life. And uh, I'm no longer a product of my past anymore, the the mistakes that I've made, because the blood has cleansed me from all of that. You know, we just have to remember that, that we're not a product of that anymore. And uh, as Jason says every night, who the sun sets free is free indeed. We are free. I love, love the message in this song. Um, I actually sung this song in a Sunday school room. (laughs) Uh, on the road in in a Sunday school room while I was out with the Gaithers, uh, Kevin Williams helped me put the vocal down to this, and and we we had a such a good moment in that room recording this song, and just thankful that Jason uh, allowed me to do this song. I love singing it. Well, it's incredible. Well, I, oh, Jason's back. I'll say he did a. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah. I would say this. He did a fan. He he did a fantastic job. You know when when we had the songs. And we listened to all of them. I knew that this was a song that Adam would do a fantastic job on. He has such an honesty in his voice, uh, uh, such a uh, a pure heart for a lyric. And you hope and pray, if you're a songwriter, that you can get someone like him to record one of your songs. Because it's like you know you're going to get his heart behind it. Or he's not even going to record it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't feel it he'll tell you. Mm -hmm. And I like that. And when he said, I I feel this song and I was very, very thankful. It was a very special song for me because Connie Harrington and Jimmy Geary are two of my very favorite writers. There's a lot, there's an in-depth to this song that it it would probably take us more than what (laughs) time we have allotted. But there's one thing that we have to be cautious. And I talk to people about this all the time. And I talk to people at at concerts every night. Pretty much we sing this is spiritual arrogance. Mm. And it can happen without us even knowing it. Yeah. I mean, how many times have we said, you know, man, I just knew something was up. I, I thought that something was wrong, you know, and the before we know it, we've picked up a stone and don't even realize that we've picked up a stone to throw it. And what I'm going to tell you, his grace and mercy, when we really live in it and know what it's done to us, not the season, but the life experience, that's what we have to live out every day of the thankfulness of the mercy and amazing grace of God. Hmm. Because you're talking about a rock crusher. You, yeah. There's no hmm. stones to throw when you live that out and recognize there was I had it not been for the grace of God. Yeah. There was I in that moment. I mean, how many moments in life when we were living in the middle of a mess up, could God have, mm-hmm. you know, pulled the curtain back on us and said, you know what, I'm just going to expose your thoughts and your ways or whatever. And I know that's a little real and maybe a little raw, but I think it's important for us to know that yeah. Yeah. God's grace and mercy is so pure and so awesome. And so, I mean, he's... It, Aren't you thankful that he protects us even in the times of our, our failures and our mess ups, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, and, and when we really live in that every day, how in the world can we pick up a stone? When Jesus had to die on Calvary's cross and shed his blood for our lives, who am I to pick up a stone? Yeah. And that's easy, uh, you know, easier to say that for others. But then you turn in the second verse and you look in the mirror and then you go, wait a minute, I'm judging myself to others. Yeah. But I think we are a whole lot harder on ourselves than anybody else would ever be. But also God loves us. He'll forgive us a whole lot faster than we forgive ourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the hard part. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part in life. But either you believe it or you don't. Some people believe it for others and have a hard time believing it for themselves. But I pray that anybody that is listening to this today, I want you to grab a hold of the truths of God 
And the truth is he died for you and he gave his life for you and he came out of the grave victorious over anything that you'll ever face for you, for you. Yeah. And you can live in victory today. You can live in his grace, his mercy, and his covering. And it's greater than anything that you will ever experience in life. <laughs> I say this, and, and it's kind of funny, and, and I hope people take it by the way it, it's being said, but your sin was no match for the blood of Jesus. Hmm. You're not that good of a sinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your yeah. sin has to bow to his mercy and grace every time. So live in that. Nobody's got stones to throw at you. And if they are, I'm so sorry for that because that's not of God. Yeah. I apologize for anyone that's ever had a religious stone thrown at them. Yeah. Well, Jason, you have written an incredible song, and Adam, you have done an incredible job singing it. I don't think anybody could have done any better. Here it is, the Crab's new song, Stones. We're all good at finding faults all around us. Pointing out somebody else's wrong. We like to think we got it all together And we do right up till we don't Ain't none of us ever been perfect Yeah, the truth is there's only been one who ever was But we're all in such a hurry judge and jury when we all got sins of our own everybody drop your stone a ghost I'm so glad he doesn't judge me like I always do ain't none of us ever been perfect yeah the truth is there's only been one who ever was but we're all in such a hurry to be the judge and jury when we all got sins of our own Everybody drop your stones Drop your stones Ain't none of us The truth is there's only been one who ever was But we're all in such a hurry To be the judge and jury When we all got sins of all Aren't they heavy? So heavy Drop your stone Well, what a morning we have had here with Jason and Adam Crabb. Guys, you've made the, well, you've made the entire week special being our featured artist, but you sure have made this Friday morning special. What a good time I've had talking to you guys. Thank you so much for spending time with us on the morning show. Well, thank you, honey, for having us. I'll well, tell you that you are, you are top notch, girl. You are top notch at this. Well, I appreciate yeah. that. Adam, I need to say one more thing before we go. Uh, look, 
we want to have the Gaither Vocal Band as a featured artist here on the morning show. The morning show is only 12 weeks old, but in 12 weeks, we have never, ever missed a day playing the Gaither Vocal Band. We play them every day. We want to feature uh, you guys, but we don't have a connection with Bill. So we need, well, we need I, a connection with Bill Gaither. I could probably make that happen for sure. Uh, Bill, and we will, we will definitely do that well, for sure. Bill is actually on the board here on the morning show uh he doesn't oh, wow. know, he doesn't know it and he's never been to any of our meetings <laughs> or anything he's just a silent partner he's unaware of it but we did give him an honorary spot here on the board on the morning show so look <laughs> he has high ratings around here so you see what you can work out you tell him about us tell him about the morning show we want to have him on we want to connect with bill gaither so you help us out on that okay well we'll work on that and there's nobody that loves this music more than him that is I mean, the truth Oh, he he's loves, the loves, loves this music. Yeah. And for an 86 year old man, uh, I can't keep up with him. <laughs> I don't know oh, he's, in, he's incredible. We want to talk to him one day, but today, today we sure have enjoyed talking to Adam and Jason Kraft. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate you. You got a Thank friend you. here on the morning show. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. Thank you. You are top notch girl. God's people stood there trembling on the banks of the mighty Red Sea. God, we better get moving. We're coming after you and me. Moses then stepped forward and held his rod up high. He said, fear not, stand still. God is on our side. And the water parted right before them. They crossed on over to the other side. So sister, grab your tambourine. Your tambourine. There's victory in the camp. Satan's been defeated. Sing your song as they Salvation when we should have died. 